Greetings and welcome back to room 303 in our Talks with Walt as we are calling our readings through the deathbed edition of Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass. We turn now to a little poem, Abraham Lincoln, born February 12th, 1809. Notice February being abbreviated here. Now, there's actually only three mentions of Lincoln by name in all of Leaves of Grass, but obviously we're back to lilacs, we're back to Old Captain as well, and we're going to ask this question, why is it the case that he rarely mentions the name Lincoln in Lisa Grass. Now this is point 17 of the 58 of Sands at 70. In a speech, Whitman called Lincoln, quote, the first great martyr chief. He later said, <clears throat> Lincoln is particularly my man. And then finally he said, Lincoln gets almost, uh, um, gets almost never, me, uh, Lincoln gets almost nearer me than anybody else. I find that a fascinating idea as well. In other words, there's been a lot written on the ways in which Lincoln and Whitman are similar. Obviously, they're, they're kind of uh, n normal upbringing, their struggle to try to survive and to succeed, their love of democracy and freedom. Now, this is poem 17 of the 58 of Sands at 70. Our hope is that you've been following our stuff at LearnStrong.net, Talks with Walt, our playlist, and that you have been exposed to our intro to uh, um, Sands at 70 to help you get through our, our comments here. Now, our Nortons will tell us that uh, this one was first published in the New York Herald, February 12th, 1888. Whitman gave his first public lecture on Lincoln on April 14th, 1879. He gave others in intervals until 1890, including one in Philadelphia in 1886 and one in New York in 1887. We'll have more to say about that one here in a second when we hit uh, two, uh, 2A. Let's just enjoy this little two-line offering. Today, from each and all, a breath of prayer, a pulse of thought, to memory of him, to birth of him. Now, you even heard that, Marie, ba-bum, 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 ba-bum. You, you hear that rhythm, right? Today, and I think that's why he uses the hyphen, from each and all, notice the word all, a breath of prayer. Go back to uh, Song of uh, Myself 24. Do you remember when he said the scent of these armpits, aroma? finer than any prayer. I love how he plays with the idea of prayer in Leaves of Grass. And then the dash. And then a pulse takes us back to the very first poem, One Self I Sing. Go back and look how he uses that word there. Of thought. And obviously thought is so central. He even named several poems thought, right? To memory of him. And we're, of course, three poems ago when we did memories, right? To memory of him. What's fascinating to birth of him. What's fascinating is that, notice, we never have him actually mention the name Lincoln, either in Lilacs, either in, in uh, O Captain. Go back and, and take a look at what we saw there. Um, now, there, there is, I think, only times that Lincoln gets mentioned at all is memories of President Lincoln, of course, that cluster, this poem, and then later Election Day, no, and, and, then, and, then, um, uh, and then Election Day, November um, uh, 1884, obviously, uh, later we're going to see that one. And that'll be the only time Lincoln actually ever gets mentioned what, at, at all. I think at the end, the reason for the identification of Lincoln is that Whitman was so interested in legacy, and obviously, by the end of Whitman's life, Lincoln had started to become, with the help of later of Sandberg's classic autobiography, we've given comments on that at Learn Strong as well, Whitman, uh, Lincoln began to grow in, in, his, in, in his legacy, and I think Whitman was hoping the same would happen, and it clearly, it, in some ways, it did happen. At two way, I think the argument here is that Lincoln is worthy of all Americans' respect and honor. At 2B, I love the refusal to actually mention Lincoln by name. At 3A, as we promised, Lincoln uh, or Whitman began giving lectures. He gave a lecture on uh, the uh, assassination at Ford's Theater. It was called The Death of Abraham Lincoln. And in many ways, it became kind of an annual rite between, as L Norton said, between 1879 and 1890. You kind of were, you know, expected to go in and see Whitman talk about this. And it was out of that that Whitman began to be known as the good great poet, as one of his biographers would call him. Finally, at 3B, do you think we should show this level of respect for Lincoln? What are your thoughts on that? And, 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 and as we talked earlier about patriotism, do you find that you're being challenged to, to think at least a little bit differently about patriotism through your study of Leaves of Grass? I, I, certainly, I certainly hope so. Thank you.